left his shirt on the floor. That broke me the most because I was just distraught and it felt like it was the biggest heartbreak I could ever possibly feel. I felt so heartbroken. Like it was honestly like the worst I could ever feel. Been through plenty of breakups before, but that was by far the worst. I think he said to me it was almost like he intentionally yeah. left it there, like as yeah. a reminder or something. Yeah, but... it was. <sighs> and I remember like looking at it and just going, don't sniff it. Don't sniff it. Because it's like, you know, they smell and you hold on, you know, <laughs> leave me. And then my dog, my border collie, walked in and I was like, don't you sniff that shirt, don't you sniff. And he just laid on it. <gasps> And you could tell at that moment that he really missed his dad and it was, oh God, it was awful. Yeah, that's where it came about. Um, and there was more lyrics to shoot on the floor oh, as well. There, there was, was like so much pages more, of, <laughs> yeah, I don't just write songs, I write a story. Shirt on the floor is, is very emotion driven. At the time, not now, because this, the person that song is about is my now husband and we do have two children together but at the time it really broke me yeah. it broke me and him having that shirt on the floor like you said like he meant to every lyric in the song is so relevant to what actually happened at that time every word yeah. every word has that that emotion behind it of of not just my heartbreak but what so many people go through in a heartbreak or during, during a breakup. I think um, definitely all my belongings on the back of the tray. Um, sounds a bit like a country song, but. I love that line though. I did, I was yeah. in a Ford Ute. I had my border collie right next to me and I had all my belongings in the back of the tray. I had to drive like out of the way and I was just like, just don't go past there. I couldn't bear the thought of him being with someone new. Once Beck uh, sent me these beautiful lyrics, I sat down and I actually had some chords that I really liked. Sort of just started playing them and then all of a sudden a, a melody just sort of came to me. And, and then I came down and I saw Craig and I played it for him. And we sort of simplified the chords ever so slightly and just, you know, I held this note and, and so on and so forth. I went home and I probably left it for about a month. I didn't, I didn't even touch it, I didn't even, I didn't even play it. And I get a message from Craig saying, right, we need coming back into the studio so we can do this thing. And I was like, gosh, better do some practice. And I picked up the guitar again, and it was really funny. Something just clicked with the lyrics and clicked with the melody, and, and I actually changed it ever so slightly, and it meant that I got to add in more of Beck's beautiful lyrics and get to tell more of the story, which was absolutely awesome because I just felt like it was a little bit disjointed what I had originally come up with. Like we're saying, like it's it's very relevant, oh. the story and the heartbreak and the pain behind it. So I kind of didn't want to miss anything out. So it was, yeah. Megan's okay. very good at just, even with our other songs, she just, boom, and she can just, get it going and it just sounds so good instantly like you can Aww. just hand her anything <laughs> and she just goes yeah and then it'll be like what five ten minutes <laughs> later and it's like oh, we have a song <laughs> it is you don't want to drive past their house no you don't want to know if they're seeing someone else yeah you know and it is packing up your stuff and it is borrowing your dad's you to your friend's van or something and loading it up it is someone leaving something behind and that being that trigger point, you know? It is your dog smelling your ex's clothes and it makes you cry. Yeah. And even at the time when I was moving back, a car pulled up that was the same as my husband's, oh, not husband, ex at the time, ex-boyfriend at the time, and my dog took off after the car thinking it was him. So I'm running in this parking lot like, oh, it's not daddy. It was so dirty. It was so dirty. to laugh. It was so weird. It was awful. But I had to just imagine. It was. I was going to daddy. And I put him in the car, you know, we're coming back from Melbourne. And it was just, it was just, yeah. It that is hurt. heartbreaking. It was. It hurt. So bad. Got him now, though. <laughs> he came back. You do, you go through a breakup with someone and even if you've been with them for, you know, five months versus <laughs> three years, yeah. you know, like it's still that like, oh. gosh. In every aspect, I think someone can find something out of the song that is, you know, oh yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, but, but yeah, know. through heartbreak comes great songs. Yes, which is which is really lucky that now I have obviously have Beck in my corner to be able to help me with that. So thank you. Thank you for a beautiful, <laughs> a beautiful song, even if it is about your breakup. Yeah, that's fine. That first video or sound you sent me of Shirt on the Floor, just with the guitar, was like, oh my God. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah, Wasn't it, was really it great? Fun. It was, it was really so fun. good. It, it was, was so just, good. and that, I think it was shirt on the floor is really like something for us now too. It really started something, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It lit really a fire and it kind yeah. of, you know, with you coming down the studio, it just made it go. <laughs> we just, I guess we hope all, our, all the listeners enjoy it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. As much as we've and it enjoyed making it. gets stuck in your head. Oh, I so hope it gets stuck in people's heads. Oh, it gets stuck in ours. It gets stuck in my three-year-old's head. Does it? Yes, yes. Let your shirt on the floor. That part. He's just constantly Backup singer just, right there. Technically. <laughs> yeah, just back up, back up. <laughs> at the back. <laughs> at, at the back. <laughs> I'm Megan Woods and this is Rebecca Arantz and we hope you enjoy Shirt on the Floor. Go ahead and stream it from Spotify. Spotify or iTunes, or you could probably even see our music video on YouTube. Bye! Bye.